happy Halloween. This is your idea of celebrating right here. Well, it's a festive atmosphere here. NWA Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Katana Vera throwing candy out to the great fans here, but victory certainly would be sweet in this costume tag team lethal ladies match. Are you kidding me? Yeah, look at that. Teenage Mutant Nikki Turtle. Uh, I finally got to say that in my announcing career. Looking good. She's looking like she's ready to take out the Foot Clan and whoever else is in her way. Donatello never looks so good. I'm told he does machines. I got some pizza. Leonardo Lee. Yeah. I Michelangelo, know. he's a party dude. Yes. You know, Raphael, he's cool but rude. You really are a geek, Doc Kenley. From Boston Harbor. Dang. Lucky O'Shea. She looks good. Lucky O'Shea is gorgeous. Wow, welcome to the jungle. Taking a page out of my favorite Leave the Lady Thunder Kitties playbook here. Where is Thunder Kitty? I miss her. Thunder Kitty, if you're watching this in Mudlick, Kentucky, or wherever you are drinking moonshine in Mississippi, give me a call, baby. Lucky O'Shea, though, looking good. Mudlick, Kentucky. Is that, she hanging out with Hillbilly Jim? I hope so. Someone's got to, you know, someone's got to feed the cows over there. Referee, good thing they're checking the shell. You know, you can hide a lot of foreign objects Chris in that Chris Massey show. is a pervert. Chris Massey looking for any excuse to get his hands on fellow ginger Lucky O'Shea. I'd be tentative too if I were her. Chris Massey never saw an episode of Law & Order SVU he didn't like. We got a three-way match here. Chris Massey's in his fantasy right now. Of course, Katana Vera looks like Spider-Man if Spider-Man was allergic to spider bites. All right, look at this. Nikki calling on the turtle power again. Happy Halloween, everyone. Hello, boils and ghouls. I'm sure this match will be skeletons of fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Todd Kenley, you deserve to be at 4 o'clock. You know that? Hey, listen, you know what? I'd much rather be joined up here by the Crypt Keeper than Morton Lipschitz, who always makes his way up here uh, in the well, broadcast listen, area. That's why I always tell him to shut up. All right, looks like it's going to be Spider-Man. Spider Girl, for that matter, I suppose. Against Donatello, Katana Vera taking on the New York knockout. Looking for a super shredder. You think she's been spending any time down in the sewers? Not New York Nikki. She's high class all the way. Waldorf Astoria. Fans, obviously, Ninja Turtle fans here getting behind Nikki, who has actually been. Uh, the subject of a lot of controversy around here as of late uh, with her antics. She's come back rougher and meaner than ever. Don't let the fact that she's wearing a Donatello Ninja Turtles outfit uh, fool you. She could kick the crap out of you, ooh, just like that. Well, right now it's Katana Vera that's feeling a little shell-shocked. Meanwhile, Lucky O'Shea, the very beautiful Lucky O'Shea, on the outside, not doing much of anything. She's the smart one here, uh -oh. look at that. Nikki had the shell. She got shell-shocked there. Yeah, I was a little too early on that call. Should have waited. But now look at that. Very opportunistic. In comes Jungle Girl here. Nikki does not play well with others. She does not play well with others. I'm at a loss for words just looking at this. This is amazing. You have to be here live to see what's really, this. yes, this really is happening. Spidey to the ropes. Donatello and Tarzana. Oh, double clothesline from Spidey. Well, her spider senses are tingling right now. She's got everything going her way. Trying to trap her opponent's own. Oh, look out for the web. Wow. NWA, folks. You can follow him at Dave Lagana. Attempted double clothesline there. Wow, look at that cross body. <laughs> this one almost just has to speak for itself, Stu. It really does. This is awesome. Oh. The beautiful uh, Lucky O'Shea getting rearranged there. By the way, I follow her on Facebook. I hope that's not creepy. Uh, it is, a little bit. I do like to poke her. Oh, give me a break. You know, these girls uh, in, in deciding their costumes, 
some uh, uh, costume ideas that didn't get chosen. Of course, DuckTales, uh, Chippendales, Rescue Rangers. Oh, those are classics. Tailspin. I would have gone maybe with, uh, you know, Duke Igthorn from the Gummy Bears. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> bouncing here and there and everywhere. And bouncing off the mat is about to be Katana Vera's head. As soon as Donatella. See how I did that there? Yep. Oh. Trying to dim the lights there. Trying to make her dark wing duck perhaps now. It's a really Oh, look at that. She's her. using the, the mask there to choke her out. Chris Massey. You know, Chris Massey has already has trouble counting to four. You just don't want to give him any reason to have to count. And now, again, you've got Lucky O'Shea to the outside, staying out of harm's way, picking her, picking her battles, picking her shots, very opportunistic. I wish Lucky O'Shea would come up here and hang out with us. Well, stalking like a jungle cat in the reeds, and oh. now double drop kick to Katana Vera. Drop kick sandwich to go. Love to watch that pin. Oh no, she hit her head hard on the mat. Nikki with a pin. Well, Broke hit. up the pin and Lucky O'Shea might be hurt. Fighting hit. through the pain, but she really hit her head hard, Todd. Really did. Now Nikki, obviously, dresses Donatello, but was trying to be more the Green Goblin there and take out Spider-Man, but it didn't happen. Not yet. Lucky O'Shea looks out of it in the corner. Meanwhile, New York Nikki, the knockout, taking advantage of the situation. Katana in, nobody home. Some speed now by Lucky O'Shea. Well, thought she was gonna spring from the second rope. Look out, here comes Katana Vera into the corner. What's gonna happen here? What? Oh no! Oh no! Katana Vera's gonna catch her hair. Oh! Slams her off the top. Rarely works for Ric Flair and didn't work for Lucky O'Shea. Yep, again. Some well, things never change in the NWA. <laughs> well, she's not styling and profiling right now. Scoop and a slam. Eats by a the nasty body slam. What's gonna happen here? Spidey's gonna fly. No. Oh, Spidey does fly. Head first. Spidey senses didn't tip her off to that one. Again, we talked about the New York knockout. She's a loner. She doesn't, she doesn't team up with anybody. She likes to play in the sandbox by herself. I don't blame her. Some tricks and some treats oh. this week, folks, on NWA Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Look out here, two hands full of shell. Uh -oh. Now One, into the cover. Two, go oh, well. Lucky O'Shea picks up a very intelligent victory. I love it. You know, Lucky O'Shea's running things around here, and now she picked up a victory, proving why she is running things around here. And it looks like Johnny La Idiot is gonna be out here to have some words with our winner in just a moment, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, well, we talked about trick or treat. It was a trick that ended up getting the win for Lucky O'Shea. And a big treat for all our viewers, because the very beautiful Lucky O'Shea, the very intelligent, the very sexy, almost too hot for 4 p.m. Lucky O'Shea. Shout out to Thunder Kitty, my real boo, though. You, uh, I hope you're watching, babe. Get well soon. All right, standing by, as you mentioned, our broadcast colleague, Johnny LaQuasto here to get a word with Lucky O'Shea. Lucky, come on over. Clearly the cavewoman costume did it for you. You pulled off yet another victory. What's next? Do you see what I did? I earned that win. I totally, totally earned that win. That was so sweet. Did you see how hard I went in there? Yeah. Now you pull out the victory without any of your assistance. Are you still actively looking for an assist? Johnny LaQuasto, you cannot be my assistant. Thank you, Lucky. Yeah, that's it. All right, Lucky! Lucky O'Shea Incorporated, still on a roll. We'll be right back.